Fire departments are called to roughly 3,700 reported fires every day across the United States. And during some of those fire incidents, commercial fire alarm systems activate, evacuate the building, and save lives. Welcome to System Test 33 of my mock commercial fire alarm system. This is an ADT Unimode 10UD fire alarm control panel. Let's get into the test. After a very long time, I have finally acquired a new automatic initiating device for the collection. And it is an FCI SBS-1101 smoke detector. Over the years, I've heard that these can easily lose their sensitivity. However, this one seems to still work great. And this one also comes with a horrible tan line. This side is kind of yellowed, and then if you look at this side, it's really yellowed. Anyways, I figured we'll go ahead and start out the test today by activating this smoke detector and see how good it actually does work. And to do that, I have some canned smoke. So we'll go ahead and spray that at the detector and set it off. Here we go. That should be plenty. For our strobe today, we have an EST G1R-V75. And then for the alarm today, we have a Potter SH-120. This alarm is actually fixed 110 candela, so it's got a very bright strobe. It flashes at 70, 72 flashes a minute, and it is 81 decibels at 10 feet away. So it is pretty loud, just like every other fire alarm out there. <laughs> and it seems that this smoke detector did work great. And then going along with the Potter theme, I installed a new Potter pull station. Well, actually I've had this Potter pull station in the collection for a very long time, but it's new on the board and it is a Potter 1000476, also known as the Potter P32-1T-LP dual action pull station. And then the Honeywell pull station is also up for this test, but you've already seen that one be activated, so we won't test it out in this test. And that's all the new fire alarm devices on the board. But there's a couple other things that I'd like to test out for this test. Lots of testing words, test, 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 test. <laughs> Let's pull the fire alarm and then we'll reset everything and then I have something else planned for the rest of the test. Here we go, fire alarm, lift and pull. Pull down. Alarm silenced from the enunciator. Pretty loud. All right, let's reset this. Uses just a hex key. Here's the inside. There's the models, or the model sticker. All right, let's close it back up. The way this is mounted, the metal in the back is kind of bending a little bit and I just have to like really push it in in order for the locking mechanism to latch. Anyways, the smoke detector should be aired out by now. Let's go ahead and do a main reset of the entire system. There we go. So this alarm can do some pretty interesting different tones. And I was thinking we'll go ahead and change it up and do a different tone on it. So 
So in order to do that, we do have to take it off of the back box here. Here's the back of the fire alarm, and right now you can see at the top, it is set on its electromechanical temporal tone. And I'm thinking we'll go ahead and change that to its 2400 hertz tone, and we'll keep it on temporal. So it looks like in order to do that, we just have to switch that middle dip switch to up. Let's go ahead and do that here. There we go. All right, the tone should be different now. And we'll go ahead and reinstall the alarm onto its mounting bracket here. It's been a while since we've tested out the special smoke detector meant for air ducts. Let's go ahead and do that today. Here's the airports. We'll just spray some of this canned smoke right into the airport. Here we go. We don't have to do that, but might as well. All right, let's do a full system reset. I think that's gonna do it for today's system test with the ADT Unimo 10UD. Thank you for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe. If you found any of this interesting, definitely check out some of my other videos. And please, have a great day.